Hello and welcome to Microfocus Education. Let's look at some enhancements to service level agreements available with Solutions Business Manager 11.6. Now you can create notifications based on SLA compliance and you can create custom SLA reports. To look at these features, let's first verify that the SLA engine is running. We can see this from SBM Configurator. Looks like we are good to go. Now, let's access the SBM Work Center. We will use an account that has the privilege to use the Application Administrator tool. Let's work with an SLA in the Issue Defect Management Project. Notice there's a tab for working with SLAs. We want to add a notification to the Priority 1 clause in the SLA called High Priority Customer Issues. Let's add the new action. We will define an action on which to base our notification. We want this to apply to the current owner of the work item, in this case an issue. We have already defined the criteria for high, medium, and low risk, based on the time it takes to resolve the issue. Now our action will be at 5 minutes before the work item has reached the medium risk threshold. Now we set up the details of the notification. This will be an email notification. And now we set up the conditions of the notification. Use these menus to create our condition. So, we're set up to send an email notification to the owner of the work item when the action is met, that is, five minutes prior to medium risk. And the screen shows a summary of the action and notification that we've set up. Next, let's use this same SLA to explore the new SLA reports feature. First, we need to grant some privileges to our admin account. Select Manage SLA Items. Now, some privileges specific to reporting. We need the privilege to create, edit, delete, and run SLA reports. Now, let's return to the Work Center where we can create an SLA report. Let's create a simple listing report. You can also create summary and distribution reports on SLAs. This is new. We have specific fields that we can select to report on SLAs. Here are the SLA fields. Let's add them all to our listing report. The next step is to add a search filter to our report so we can narrow down the results. This report will only show Priority 1 issues. We can just edit the name to show that it's a report. Now, let's run the report. There is no SLA data to report yet since we just started tracking it. But if we return a while later, you can see that there are some items that have generated SLA data. No violations yet. We can also select a specific item from the report list. And here is the issue we selected. If this were an item that violated the SLA, we would know from this report 
and the notification we just created would send an email to the owner of the work item. Finally, let's sign out of the Work Center. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video about the enhancements to SLAs available in SBM 11.6. Thank you.